Hello everybody. My next camera, or cameras, since I scored a pair of identical ones, is the Polaroid Sun 600 LMS. The LMS is, LMS is for Light Management System. This is from 1983. It's one of their simpler ones, but it does have the built-in flash. It has a fixed focus, 106 millimeter plastic lens. Close focus is four feet, about 1.2 meters. This one being kind of the lower end and an earlier one doesn't have this slide in close up lens. The shutter and aperture are automatic, but the shutter range is a third of a second to one two hundredth of a second. And the aperture is f14.6 to f45. Flash range is about four to 10 feet. 1.2 to 3 meters. The strobe duration is 1 3,000th of a second to 1 20,000th of a second. It's got a pretty powerful little flash built into it. There's a flash override. Normally you push this button and it pushes this button and fires the flash and the shutter. If you just hit this button behind the main shutter button, it just does the shutter without triggering the flash. I used that on a couple of shots. It's kind of nice to be able to override that. Um, has this light and darken control like most of them do. It slides a filter in front of the light sensor here beneath the viewfinder lens. Um, I used some possible film. It was made in 2014 and I'm shooting it in 2017. So it's expired, but it's been refrigerated, so I got decent results with it. It's the funny kind of rainbow frame pack. Um, kind of cool, not a big deal to me, as long as the pictures are good, and these came out pretty well. This has the stock frog tongue, that rolled up bit of mylar that comes out and shields the print when it first comes out. Impossible makes one that's a little longer so it stays out instead of coming out and retracting immediately to protect their prints uh, from light early in the development process. So I use the dark slide and some of this black console tape and just tape it on here above the ejection slot and that way the prints come out underneath this and then I just use that, slide them into the box to get them out of the light while they process takes about a half an hour for these to fully process. Um, you know, Impossible Film continues to get better. It's not Polaroid yet, um, but it's getting there. Um, I've got a box of uh, severely expired Polaroid 600 film. I think the development goo is dried out, but I'm going to do an experiment, see if I can use it anyway. So, I'll see you then.